you've ever used the OSQL utility in previous versions of SQL, you know how valuable it can be. Well, OSQL got an overhaul in SQL 2005, so I want to show you now SQL Command or SQL CMD. What I'll do is click Start, go to Run, and I'll type CMD in the Run box and hit Open. And notice this brings up a command prompt window. Now, what I want to do with this is to reach into SQL Server from outside. Now, this is an instance where I can't graphically use a tool to manipulate SQL Server. I can't get my hands on the box necessarily, but I need to a batch file or a script to run a certain command or take action against SQL Server. Well, SQL command will let me do that. Now, if at the command prompt I type SQL CMD space forward slash and a question mark, Notice, here's all the possibilities I can do. Now, it looks very similar to the old OSQL. Now, all these switches I'll use to create an environment where I can connect to SQL Server, again, without graphical tools. Let me show you a little example here. I'll type SQL command, and now I'll tell it, notice, hyphen, capital S, the server I want to connect to, LSBRG, that's my server. Then I'll tell it, let's do a trusted connection. Notice up here E is trusted connection. And now I'm going to pass it a query. And notice on the queue, my command line query has to be in quotes, and it's going to execute an exit after this. Notice just for information here, if I use a lowercase q, so notice these are case sensitive, I'll, I can do a command line query without an exit, which means I can execute another command line query. But for now, I'm going to type select, and I'm going to do the top five. That's more transact SQL. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry about it. Go through the 21 days book and you'll have it. I'm going to select the slot, top five, all columns, from sys.sys objects. We'll talk about that later as well. And I close my quotes. Notice what happens when I press enter. It connected to SQL Server and ran that query. See what it did? Now it's kind of hard to see here. As a matter of fact, let me just pull status. Let's go back and change this.